what's up all right so my, again my name is Eric Marsh I'm 29 I live in North Carolina and I tore my left Achilles had a complete tear and I opted for the detective surgery and not the non-invasive um, you know non-surgical route or whatever this video I'm going to talk about the things I did between my injury and me having surgery to kind of prep for it okay uh, one thing I mentioned in my last video is that you really need to clear your plate right now. You need to focus all your energy towards recovering. Um, you need to clear your mind. You know, spiritually, got to you know, pray about it. Whatever you have to do. Um, but then practically, you need to not go to work. I'm sorry, man. You you need to not go to work. I tried it. I tried to just do it anyway. But what you need to do is you need to elevate your foot as much as possible, and you need to ice at night. You don't want to do anything. You want your foot to be completely immobilized before your surgery. Um, again, I don't know the non-invasive thing, but still, between whatever, you don't do it. If you went non-invasive, you're likely in a cast right now. Likely in a cast right now with your toe pointed as far as possible, and if you've already started your healing process. If that's the case, you still need to do the same thing. Okay, you need to rest. You need to elevate. So. Number one is nutrition. Nutrition is going to be vital to your recovery. Now there's rest, but then you also have to be completely aware of what you're putting in your body. During this time after your surgery, you're not going to be eating a lot. Uh, you're going to be sleeping a lot. You're going to be resting. You need to make sure you put the proper nutrients into your into your body. First thing I got, protein and a CLA. Um, you need to be taking a branch chain amino acid that's going to be very very important to your recovery that's something you should be taking all the time anyway a branch chain amino acids your BCAAs you want to take a glucosamine go to your local vitamin shop or GNC glucosamine that's going to be really really great for your recovery these are things that you usually take before immediately before or after your workout but you're going to be in a constant state of recovery so this is stuff I took every single morning I took midday and then I took in the afternoon. Two things as far as your supplements that you should be taking nutrition wise that people typically typically don't take, but you should be taking anyway, especially when you get I'm 29 and I consider myself to be moving to getting older, you know, um, and I pulled these two because I want you to show it. First of all, um, this is Life Extension brand. Um, bioactive, but you need to be taking a complete, complete B complex. Okay, you need to be taking a complete B complex. This is going to help you recover. Um, it has it has the enzymes, um, B vitamins. It's going to be good for your energy uh, in the morning. It's going to help with your mood. Another thing you need to be taking is you need to be taking vitamin D. Vitamin D is something you get from the sun. You know you can research it and stuff like that, but it's going to be good for your mind it's gonna be good for your energy it's gonna help you kind of like <laughs> it's gonna assist you in being less mopey you need to take vitamin D and the last thing and the most important thing is that you need to take a collagen powder you need to get a collagen supplement if you research your Achilles it's it's like a hot it's a hybrid tendon so it's it's special you know it's built it's built with certain stuff in it you know, I can't go into all of it. I don't know everything about it, but I have a nutritionist, okay? And um, I pay for my nutritionist, and he's the man, all right? But this collagen is going to help you recover dramatically. I would say I started taking this two weeks ago, three, two and a half weeks ago. I started taking this at week three, so this is post-surgery, and I wish I would have started taking this before. This helped me a lot. I felt the difference in this. I felt the difference in this. Okay. In addition to nutrition, you need to get supplies. The stuff you're going to need. Uh, I wasn't able to walk. It was pretty bad. When I came in from the surgery, um, they put a nerve block on my leg. So I basically had to crab walk into my apartment backwards with my best friend holding my leg up. Super entertaining. I mean, pictures worth a thousand words, but you're going to have to do what you have to do. Okay. So as far as getting around the house, I got crutches that give you that. I had a boot. They give you that. You may or may not be able to get to the bathroom as well as you would like. So I had to get one of the urinal things that you pee in. Hey, it is what it is. Well, actually, 
I could make it to the bathroom, but every time you drop your foot below your heart, it's going to hurt. And your leg is going to be numb for the first two days if you opted to get the nerve block. So you don't want to deal with that, okay? What you want to do is keep your foot up as much as possible, stay stationary as much as possible, and, um, and make it happen. Um, another thing you need to get is you need to get a shower stool. People go through all these different ways of keeping their leg dry. I tried the inflatable thing, hated it. I tried putting a trash bag over it. It works, but your leg gets sweaty. What I ultimately discovered and found out was that, well, determined was you put the plastic, don't put your foot into the plastic bag. Wrap the plastic bag around your foot. Take athletic tape or medical tape and then tape it at the top. And then where the opening goes down the side, tape down the side and leave the bottom open. If you put your foot in the bag, your leg is going to start sweating because of the steam. That's the one thing you don't want to have to give up <laughs> during this process is the hot shower. Um, so wrap the plastic around, leave your toes out, leave the bottom open so that your leg doesn't get hot. Because when your legs start sweating, it's going to do a number on your cast. I learned that the hard way all right um, and that and that's about it you know but the most important thing is you need to ask for help you need to get somebody to come stay with you for at least the first week I did it for the first three days but I wish it was the first week um, when it comes to your recovery nutrition is important having help is important you want to move as least as possible but you still want to eat you need to eat you have to eat um, you're going to be on the opioids. You're going to be on the drugs. Um, I stopped taking it at, at, at day four. Um, opioids, they will constipate you. So you want to get a stool softener. I don't like taking stool softeners, but I'm also, I'm lactose intolerant. So I just had cereal in the morning, you know, but you want to make sure that you're doing what you have to do um, to consistently have stuff going in and out of your body. If you know what I mean. All right. So that covered supplies. Um, and then also covered nutrition, preparation for your surgery. You just want to chill, just chill. You know, um, you're in for a pretty decent re um, span of time recovery wise, but you can do it. As I said in my first video, your body wants to heal itself. Right now, what you need to do is just take, a, take get rid of everything that's going to inhibit your healing. Okay. You don't want to be stressed out. That's not conducive. You don't want to be mentally tired. You know, you don't want to be, you know, struggling with anything, you know, clean it like it's the perfect excuse. And I'll be honest, I'm generally a nice guy, you know, but I probably let more people know about their self in the last month than I did in the last two years. So it's going to make you temperamental. It's going to be tough. You know, um, I kept a journal. I wrote it down. I'll be talking about the emotions and stuff with that first two weeks in my next video. But right now, it's just important that you kind of prepare and you start your nutrition regimen, start your supplement regimen and get everything you need before. Um, I'll add one more thing that uh, proved very useful. Um, I went ahead and bought anything I would need to recover. OK, I went and bought everything I would need to recover. Um, I got the bands, light, medium, heavy. I just picked these up from Target. Um, these are smaller than the ones I would usually use. The ones I would usually use, like when I was doing, when I'm working out, they're wider and they're longer. But the loop is going to be very useful for you when you start recovering. So you want to go ahead and get these. All right. And another thing you want to get is you want to get a tool to roll out your muscles. You might see them. Um, you know, I'll talk about that in one of my the post-surgery recovery videos and I'll show it to you but the tools that you need to kind of break down scar tissue it'd be good to go ahead and just get your hands on those they're usually kind of like a rod shape you roll down and you'll be good to go and then also um, what you like what you should get is if you're going you're going to be using crutches you should get crutch pads okay getting around on crutches is going to be um, kind of hard you probably are already on them if you if you if you're a poster you probably already own them at this point but get crutch pads you have a lot of nerve endings in your underarms and you don't want those to get irritated 
You don't want those to get irritated. It'd be really uncomfortable. So get crutch pads. Um, I got black ones. You know, there's a mentality when it comes to being an athlete, and that's also a mentality when it comes to recovering. Um, those are my crutches back there. I wrapped them in black athletic tape. They're pretty dope. But um, you have to be adamant. You have to be vigilant towards your recovery. You have to be, this is the time. If you want to make changes, go ahead and do it. Um, Nutrition-wise, you have to make the changes. Like now. But next video, I'm going to be talking about post-operation and kind of week one, week two. And then I'll skip forward and I'm going to put three, four, and five and six together uh, and try to throw on some pictures as well so you can kind of see what I got going on.